Welcome back to Game On. Time to jump back into it. This Friday, we have Westminster traveling to Francis Scott Key for a big time county girls basketball game. And that's the next CM Sportsnet game of the week. Join me and Tim Whitehead for pregame coverage at 615 and the tip off at 630. It should be a good one inside Beard Gymnasium. Let's talk about the Owls first. They've won seven of their last eight games with junior uh, Maddie Gassman leading the way. She's in the midst of a standout season and she's tops on the Owls in points, rebounds, assists, and steals per game. Juliana Lesser adds 8.6 points and freshman Brinley Bogue is next at 6.2. Westminster beat FSK 45-38 back on January the 10th. Now let's talk about Francis Scott Key. The Eagles have won four of their last five with a home game tonight against South Carolina. That's another pivotal girls basketball matchup. Drew Watkins leads the team with 14 points per game and Key is grabbing close to 35 rebounds per game as a team. Abby Rieger goes for 4.4 steals and 3.5 assists and Summer Brooks hands out 3.7 assists for the Eagles. On to the team stats comparison now and you can see the Owls have been in close games pretty much all winter long. Key averages better than 51 points per game and allows a little more than 41 points per game. Like I said, this one should be a good one in round two. We have two players to keep an eye on for Friday's game with Westminster's Maddie Gassman and FSK's Caroline Kaur. Gassman does it all for the Owls, like we talked about. She fills the stat sheet almost every night. Core is a handful in the post for FSK, one of the top rebounders in Carroll County. We got a chance to talk to each coach ahead of the game of the week. First up is Owls coach Dave Urban. So let's see what the coach had to say about Westminster. Coach, to get to this point, you've got to overcome some adversity along the way. What are, what's a couple of things that you're most proud about the girls and how they've gotten to this point with a good record so far? It's this year more than any has been a scheduling challenge. Uh, and the schedule challenge is illnesses. Uh, you know, you have um, weather events. The weather events have come at the worst possible times. So you've got to reschedule boys games, girls games wrestling tournaments, cheerleading competitions, <laughs> it's a lot. use of the, the uh, gym and it's other uses that were pre. Yeah. So we have not really had, we haven't had two practices in a row probably since early December. So the, the difficulty has been really just trying to get some continuity to practice and game prep and then being able to execute. So it's, that's been tough this year. You told me after the game against South Carolina that you were waiting for the girls to play a full four quarters. You got the win that night. When you're going to play a team, looking just looking at Friday, when you're going to play a team like FSK, who you beat the first time, is it going to take a full four quarters again to beat a good team like that? It's not just Friday. I mean, tonight, same same thing goes. The other night against Ligonor, um, we probably played two, two and a half quarters. And you can always go back to just watching the film and you see where that lull is and that lull, you go and kind of calculate and say, you know what, there's the nine points. And if we would have not had that lull, cleaned a few things up, executed a little more, there, there you have that difference in a game. Yeah. When getting to Friday, you got to get there first. But when you, you're going up, up against Key for the second time and you beat them the first time here, does that give the girls a little bit of that boost they need to know that you're going to go up against a team like this in the playoffs, no matter who it is? If you've got to win against them already, it gives you that confidence. It's, and it's, that's not the key game. It's, it's, we've had some very tough competition this year. Leganor was one of them. Uh, going up to Pennsylvania to play in the Christmas tournament. Play teams up there that are really, really tough and totally different styles. Um, we still have uh, a couple others on our schedule. Hammond um, and um, uh, Eastern Tech yeah. out of county. So they all make you better, right? We are looking at that as how does that prepare you for the playoffs and all of those little things that you have to learn over the course of a long season, that is what we hope, you know, kind of comes out once we get to the playoffs. Our thanks to Coach Urban for spending some time with us before their game Tuesday against Man Valley. Now we visit with Francis Scott key coach Mitch Walther, who has the Eagles trying to defend the Carroll County title. Coach, big week for the Falcons coming up and ends with Westminster on, on Friday night. We're, we're, we're almost into February now. How have you seen these girls grow from, you know, you started the season very good. You've taken a couple losses and learned from them. What's the biggest thing you've seen that out of your girls in the last month that, that, that got you to this point? Yeah, we've definitely been through some adversity. Um, we've grown a lot as individuals, grown a lot together. I've gotten to know them more. They've gotten to know me more. Um, I think just continuing to stay focused on getting better every day and just continuing to grow. 
and uh, keep keeping those goals and everything that we're working for in mind. But I'm um, just doing one thing, one practice, and one game at a time. What, what, what's one thing, or maybe more, more than one thing, you can really like? You've really uh, it's pleased you the most and what you've seen in, in terms of their growth from you know November to now. Um, I've definitely pushed them uh, like schematically defensively. So I changed a little bit of the, the style of play that they've been used to playing defensively and they just continue to buy in, whether it be a, a new coaching cue that we're working on in practice or whether it be something that we ran into into the game that's giving us problems. Instead of reverting back or worrying about the, the style of play, they're completely buying in and we're just kind of doing everything that we need to each day to get better. What, what, um, what was the one thing or maybe more than one thing again that, uh, that Westminster did well against you guys the first time when you played them uh, at their place? Yeah, they played great. They got a couple of really, really good players. Um, I think we're always a little bit better in-house than we are going away. Um, so that's something that we're looking to continue to work on. Um, but those two, they're, they're two best players, Leisure and um, Gasman and Gasman <laughs> both both made some big plays at big moments, um, and they were not afraid of us. I think that at times we've played some teams, especially in the county, that I think when things went well for us early, the other team showed it, um, right. and that team did not. Um, and then I think at times we kind of did the opposite. We mm -hmm. we showed that we 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 could hit some panic and got right. got a little bit worried in that game. And I think we learned a lot about ourselves and grew a lot from that game. But um, yeah, that's a good a good basketball team over there. Thanks to Coach Walther for his time. So it's the Owls and the Eagles battle of the Birds on Friday, February second, and you can catch all the action on the CM Sportsnet Game of the Week. Our pregame coverage begins at six fifteen, and the game is set to begin at six thirty. Want more local sports coverage? Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.